Hey there! So today I'm going to be showing you guys a look that is really great for fall or an awesome wearable look for Thanksgiving. Um, it's just using some copper tones, bit of taupe and a nice gold. So whatever you guys have you can take out to try to um, duplicate this look. Otherwise for those of you with the Coastal Scents original 88 palette that's what I'll be using so if you do have it then you're in luck. Um, for my Canadian subscribers, I will throw out a happy Thanksgiving right now, as Thanksgiving in Canada is this coming weekend. Very excited. I'm actually making my first ever Thanksgiving dinner for my family. Um, my significant other is actually in Vegas for stag this weekend, so he won't be here, but I'm going to cook for my family, and hopefully it turns out great, because I've never made a whole turkey all on my own, but my mom and grandma will be here to back me up if I need any help. Uh, so yeah, anyways, if you guys want to see this look, stay tuned and I'll show you. Start this look off by priming your eyelid. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Next I'm going to be going into a paint pot and this is Bare Study by MAC. It's just a nice uh, champagne tone with a lot of gold in it. And I'm just going to use that on my ring finger and I'm just going to put it on my lid and then blend it slightly into the crease and then whatever's left of my finger I'm just going to rub underneath my lash line. So the first color I'm going to be using is in the last row and it is the fourth one from the bottom. It's just a nice bronze tone and I'm going to be using that on a MAC 224 so just get that nicely on the tip. Make sure you tap it off so you don't get too much fallout. And I'm just going to start working that into the crease and then moving it up right onto my brow bone. So once that bronze is in your crease and then slightly brought up above your crease, I'm going to go back into that same row and right under that bronze color we used, I'm going to go into this taupey brown color using my uh, MAC 217. So get it right onto the tip and then I'm going to work that color into the crease. So just swirling it in and making your crease uh, darker for more definition. Once that color is in your crease, um, you can just take a little bit more and with that same 217, I'm just going to start feathering that color right where I would have the outer V just to have uh, more depth here as well. Now I'm just going to go back with my 224 and whatever's still left on it and I'm just going to go and blend a bit just to make sure those colors are nice and seamless together. So now that my crease color is done, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to be going into the second row and the fourth one down. It is just a nice, um, kind of like a warm gold, I would call it. And just using a small shader brush like the MAC 224, I'm going to start pressing that color onto my lid. So just keep picking up product and pressing it on until you get the desired color, just like that. And you can kind of go where we put that taupey color and just feather as well. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to go into my tear duct and also bring it about a third of the way in my uh, on my lower lash line. So then again with that 242 that we just used, I'm going to go back into the bronze color just getting a little bit on the tip and I'm going to put the bronze right under where my pupil would be so in the middle one third of your bottom lash line and then again just go back into or go with that same brush into that brown taupe that we used and put that onto the outer one third and it's just going to make it have a really nice gradient now going back to my 217, I'm going to go back into that taupe very, very lightly and just bring a little bit more into this outer corner just to help blend that uh, warm gold out. So as for my highlight, I'm going to be going into the first row where the light colors are and I'm going to be using the fourth one from the bottom, this one right here. 
and it is a skin toned color but has almost like a warm peachy pinky kind of effect to it which I think will just really complement um, these colors and make your brow bone have a nice warm tone to it. This color is matte so that's what I was trying to look for. That's it for the eyeshadow. If this is too light for you or you want it to be a bit darker or brighter, definitely go ahead and, um, you know, deepen the outer crease or use a gold or even like a yellow that's really, really bright. I just wanted to do a look that's really wearable that you can wear on Thanksgiving Day and also, you know, be in front of your family and have really fun eyes without, you know, your grandma or anybody kind of being like, what is she wearing? But I just thought this was a nice wearable look for Thanksgiving. As for my liner, I'm going to be going into my Urban Decay Ink for Eyes and just using the brush that it comes with. I'm really enjoying this uh, liner. I use it quite often. And you can just take that and get a nice line of liner going. Once your liner is on how you like it, just take whatever's left on that brush with whatever kind of liner you're using and I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line slightly, only going about halfway in. And those colors that you put down should still peek out underneath, so make sure it's a quite thin line of liner. That's it for the eyes. Put on your favorite mascara and I'll be back to show you what's on the rest of my face. On to the rest of my face. For blush today, I went in with Eversun, which looks like this. It's very close to uh, Gingerly if you have it. This is a beauty powder blush, um, but this one has a little bit of shimmer in it. It doesn't show off really shimmery, but it does have a bit of sparkle to it. And I just used that on my 129 and just kind of focused it onto the outer part of my cheeks here. I also went in with my Sculptin Shape Powder, and this one is in Light Sweep Shade Stir, so it's the medium one. The lighter one I also own, it's in Bone Beige and Emphasize, and I find this one's better for me uh, during more winter months when I don't have um, as much as a tan. I don't actually have a tan right now, but I've been using um, self-tanners and stuff like that, so this one's a little bit better for me in the winter. However, I really do like this highlight. But I went in with this one today, and I just um, sculpted my cheekbones a bit, gave a bit of contouring just with my, <coughs> excuse me, 109. So just kind of got that going. And then I also went in with the light shade and used that as my highlight. Both of these are available right now if you're interested. They came out with the D Squared Collection at MAC. I've had mine for quite some time already, so I haven't, I didn't repurchase these, I just already own them. As for my lips, I went ahead and I used my Ultra Shine Lip Gloss from Sephora. This is in number 14 if you guys are interested. I talked about it in my September Favorites and it's just like a nude kind of pinky tone. And to me, on my lips, what it does is it keeps my lips looking their natural color but mutes that color. So instead of being um, like pinky, it's kind of like a nude pinky. So whatever color of lips you have, expect this to just um, kind of lessen that tone of lip you have. It's not going to give you really a crazy nude mouth, but it will mute out slightly your natural color of lip. So that is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials from me, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!